So yeah, we've got this table with filtering. We've got sorting. And we've got paginating. Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to be showing you how to use the Angular Material table. And it'll look something like this. Although ours is going to be fancy and it'll combine pagination, sorting, and filtering. And it's all going to be super easy. Also, this is going to be more geared toward data that's already all on the front end. So if you have a back-end oriented uh, app, you'll need to interface with the paginator module as well as any sorting or filtering. Um, you'll need to do that all manually, communicating with your backend and updating uh, the data source like that. But ours, in this example, is going to have a lot of that for free, actually. I'll show you. Um, so we're going to get started by just copying this first example. It has some great starting code. Um, so we're going to copy that and put it in the HTML file. And I'm going to format it. Uh, also, inside of our module, we need to import the mat table module. Make sure you have the browser animations module imported. Um, I imagine that'll probably cause issues if you don't, because there are some animations here. And then back in this uh, HTML, I'm going to explain kind of what's going on here. So basically, we have this table element, and it's grabbing its data source from our TypeScript code, which currently doesn't have it. So we need to go add that. Um, in their example, they do something kind of nifty. They have this interface here called element, and then they have an array of elements. Um, so we're just going to copy that because it'll work nicely for our example. Um, we also need um, their data source variable and displayed columns. So this displayed columns is the list in order which you want your columns to be displayed in. Um, you can also emit columns here um, because in our HTML, we define all of the columns with these names, um, but we can omit some if we want in the displayed columns array. Um, so each one of these ng containers contains a header cell and a mat cell, and this is just defining what the data is going to look like inside of that column. Um, so the data cell is going to grab the element's position. So that'll be this guy right here, element position. And then uh, the header just has plain text in it, uh, number, and then etc. for the other ones with name, weight, and symbol. Okay, so that's the column definitions. And then down here, we're just telling the table what to use for this displayed columns for both the header and for the row. Um, yeah, so with that, we should be good to go. Um, if we refresh our page, you'll see that we have the basic data. Um, can't do any filtering or anything yet. So let's go and add that. It's pretty straightforward. We're just going to go down to this uh, pagination section. We'll start with that. Um, the first thing that we need to do is we need to use the mat paginator directive towards the bottom of our code here. And we can put that directly below the table, uh, just like they've done. Um, the other thing that we need to do is inside of our TypeScript, uh, we need to import two things, the mat paginator and the mat table data source. We're going to paste those imports here at the top. <clears throat> and this mat table data source, this is the really critical piece I was telling you about earlier where this will automate a lot of our pagination and stuff. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, so instead of just hard coding our data source to be an array like we are currently doing in our code, um, what we're going to do instead is we're going to wrap the array inside of the mat table data source. So this const array is going to be going inside of here. And this mat table data source does all sorts of fancy things like um, updating your data when the paginator gets called and, and when sorting is called, etc. And this mat table data source does all of our pagination and sorting for us. We just have to hook it up so it knows what to do. So we're going to grab a reference to our paginator from the view using view child. So we'll import that. And this is just going to look for the mat paginator that's on our page. And that's going to be this one. I'm going to format it. So now that we have a reference to our paginator, we need to grab the ng after view init function. And inside of there, we're going to hook up the paginator um, to our data source like this. Data source dot paginator equals this dot paginator. And this is the magic piece which links uh, the two together and gives us our automation. Also, inside of our module, we got to import the mat paginator module, otherwise it won't work. Um, so with that, we should see our pagination working. And indeed it does. So it's updating here. Still can't sort. So let's add sorting. It's really easy. Just click on this sorting section. It says we need to add the mat sort directive to mat table. So let's go do that in the HTML. We just add this line, mat sort. What else do we need to do? We need to add the mat sort header to each mat header cell. So that's pretty easy. Just go in here and after the mat header cell def, we're going to put mat sort header for each of them. <clears throat> okay, next, inside of the TypeScript, um, we need to import mat sort from Angular Material. So let's do that at the top. Um, next thing we got to do is we also need a reference to the mat sort directive inside of our class. And we're just going to pass that to the data source the same way we did with the paginator. So it's just called sort in both cases. And then last step, we need to import the mat sort module inside of our app module file. And with that, we should see the sorting working. And it does. Easy. And it works with pagination as well. So this is the kind of automation I was talking about. We barely had to do anything. And Angular Material just uh, does all of that hard stuff for us. So the last step is uh, for filtering this top portion here, this div which has a map form field with an input inside of it. So we're going to copy that and we're going to put it above our table and format it. And then we need both of these modules, the input module and the mat form field. So I'm going to go import both of those, mat input, mat form field. Always the modules. OK, so what is this input doing? On the key up event, it's calling a function called apply filter with the value of the input. Um, so we don't have that function yet. I'm going to grab it from the example. It's right here. Apply filter. 
So we're going to put that inside of our app component. And then what this is going to do is take that value of the input and then trim it up, no white space, make it all lowercase so that our case is insensitive search. And then finally we'll say data source, you need to apply this filter to the data. And then the data source will say okay and update the table. And that should be all we need for our final step. So yeah, we've got this table with filtering, we've got sorting, and we've got paginating. So yeah, that pretty much does it for this tutorial. Uh, let me know if you guys like this in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this.